And it definitely felt like it was a much more summer or spring like out there for us. We had temperatures that were some 10 to 15 degrees above normal 66 though in Burlington as well as Martinsville. Pretty comfortable with 60s across the triad. This time we didn't have as many clouds. You notice yesterday we had those high thin clouds kind of stack up for you. Well, today we've got those temperatures that are sitting in the upper 50s now finally but more 60s around the way. After we slowly fall into the 40s a little later tonight, you're going to need those jackets. 30s will be on the way as well. You're at 51 in Boone right now, 60 down in Columbia, South Carolina. We'll usher in a few more clouds thanks to a south southwesterly wind tomorrow. Today it's been out of the south and very pleasant. Almost hot in that sunshine, absolutely. You can see down to the south and west, the radar and satellite imagery showing us that we've got some moisture streaming in from the Pacific. You see it right over Texas. Then we're going to team up with a front that's going to bring in more rain for you by late Saturday night into Sunday. Looks like it's going to progress a little bit more slowly to bring in some scattered showers. So all we have to worry about are clouds over the next few days. Tomorrow should be a cloudier day. Temperatures, though, with that southwesterly breeze will have a chance to warm and some morning sunshine all the way into the mid 50s by lunchtime, then mostly cloudy as we head into the late afternoon. So sun and clouds mixing up areas of fog also will reach the early morning. A little bit more sunshine possible in the mountains and the foothills through lunchtime could take temperatures there to 59 to near 60 as well as we go into the foothills. Uh, so very comfortable conditions and you know the sunshine will be here to stay in and out as we head into Saturday as well. May not be picture perfect, but at least we're going to stay dry. We believe until about your Sunday night. Take a look at Myrtle Beach too today. Gorgeous sunshine. Even there there will be a few clouds dotting the sky, but we shouldn't have to worry about rain at the beaches until about Sunday, especially in Myrtle Beach where there's going to be a push of some of that moisture rolling through too. And it looks like we have warm conditions starting our first First week of January from the 2nd through the 9th above normal temperatures. Now we do see a little bit of a dip in those temperatures to kick off New Year's and New Year's Day, but the above normal opportunities for rain that'll be with us too. Once we get you into the end of the week, take a look at this. Try temperatures today officially 64 in Greensboro, not record setting. We would have had to beat 75 back in 2015 30 for morning lows today. We had a nice 70 degree plus temperature stretch that year in 2015. So it was two or three days in a row that we had these really sensational temperatures. Right now we're at 39 degrees in the tried. We warm you to about 60 degrees as we talk about tomorrow with a light southwesterly breeze and in the foothills from 38 degrees. The lunchtime temperatures at 55, also 60 to low 60s. I think it'll be a struggle to get into those mid 60s that we had today, mainly because of the clouds. And you see from 36 in the mountains to near 59 tomorrow, and we hold on to a rain chance mainly to the west. So that front is going to take its time getting here. You notice that we've got one front that's going to sweep through. It doesn't quite make its way in here with colder air. What it does, though, is allow for a little sunshine on Saturday before that rain finally piles up. That rain should start to total up, actually, in higher amounts, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch on early Sunday and possibly up to an inch in spots of the mountains by Monday morning. You notice that Monday is the last day of Hanukkah. You'll see that symbol there. And impact day is Sunday for good rain chances. We dry out the last day of Hanukkah and then New Year's Eve where we might be setting off fireworks to clear skies, 50s and cooling off into those 30s by early Wednesday morning for New Year's Day. It'll make it a good football day inside or out. So no matter what your plans are on New Year's Day, you've got temperatures in the 50s before rain chances arrive with an impact day on Thursday of next week as well. Highs then at about 54 degrees looking sensational with those 60s on that seven day. I have to say, Brandon, sensational.